Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever considered taking your bike on a plane, you know that packing it securely is a top priority. Today, we're diving into the process of packing your bike for air travel. There are various types of bags and boxes available, differing not only in materials, but also in sizes, which is crucial. It's important to ensure that you select a bag large enough to accommodate your bike. Therefore, be sure to check the wheelbase of your bike and compare it to the dimensions of different bags before making a purchase. I would also like to mention that while these bags need to be spacious enough to accommodate a full bike, they typically fold up much smaller for convenient storage. Today, we'll be using the Evoque Travel Bag, a popular choice among cyclists for its durability and protection. Let's get started. First things first, make sure you have all the necessary tools and accessories. You'll need a pedal wrench, quick link pliers, and Allen keys. Oh, and don't forget to remove any accessories or components that could get damaged during transit. Step one is to remove the pedals. Using a pedal wrench, carefully unscrew them in the opposite direction of the pedal rotation. Once they're off, set them aside. Next, it's time to remove the wheels. Loosen the quick release skewers or through axles and carefully slide the wheels out. Don't forget to deflate the tire slightly to prevent any pressure related issues during the flight. The same applies to your suspension if your bike has it. While not universal, many airlines stipulate that tires and shocks should be partially deflated when flying. Although not necessary, we suggest removing your chain and derailleur, which can then be attached to your frame using an old rag and a Velcro strap. Additionally, consider inserting some brake pad spacers in case the brake levers accidentally get squeezed. Next up is loosening the stem bolts and carefully removing the handlebars. We're now ready to place the frame in the Evolk travel bag, ensuring it's centered and secure. The standout feature of the Evolk travel bag is its robust padding and securing clips. This guarantees that your bike remains securely in place, minimizing the risk of any potential damage during the journey. If your bag or case lacks sufficient protection, feel free to wrap the frame with protective material. Bubble wrap or foam padding works well to prevent scratches and dings. Before sealing your bag, make sure to add the parts you've removed from the bike. Tools, riding gear like helmet, shoes, kit, and anything else you might want to bring in your bag. Make sure to remove all caps before zipping up your bag. Now, add the wheels to the bag, securing them in the designated compartment. The Evoc travel bag also comes with internal pockets to keep everything organized. This is an ideal spot to stow any extra items you'd like to bring while you're on your trip. Once everything is snug inside, zip up the bag and make sure it's securely closed. Before heading to the airport, take a moment to review airline regulations regarding bike transport. Some airlines may have specific requirements or fees. I also want to mention that if you're in the Ottawa area and not quite ready to make a bike bag or box purchase yet, you can rent travel boxes directly from us here at Full Cycle. More information about our bike box rental can be found in the description below. And there you have it. Your bike is safely packed and ready for air travel. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any tips or experiences with packing your bike, share them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more cycling tips and travel adventures. Until next time, safe travels and happy cycling.